Hello everyone. I am Daryl McCullough. I want to thank you for joining me and uh, sharing something that's really personal to me. I am a collector of African art and I've been collecting for well over 25 years. I have collected primarily African art that's uh, of a, a ritual nature or uh, decorative. Um, I primarily collect, at least at that time, the Bauli tribe. The uh, Bauli tribe, the uh, tribe from the Ivory Coast. Besides artifacts from the Ivory Coast, I started collecting various artifacts from Mali. I have a uh, large array of Sanufo hornbills, and I'm going to share those with you as well. Also to complement with a Sanufo double-faced mask, that's also from Mali. I also have three of the four various styles of Chihuahuas. I'm a big fan of Chihuahuas. I have the styles they were used, the, the chihuahuas were used in the harvest rituals, headdresses. And as I mentioned, I have three of those styles. The fourth style, which is uh, a little more abstract, it's actually horizontal, where my regular uh, chihuahuas are vertical. The horizontal chihuahua just hasn't grown on me just yet. As a fan of Chihuahuas, I also have Chihuahua helmets. I'll show you some pictures of a Chihuahua helmet couple that I have, male and female, and also a lone male. Another style of Chihuahua helmets that I have, they're from the Buzo people, the Buzo tribe. And I'll show you a few pictures of those as well. I also have a Dogon statue that I proudly display with my Marka mask.
I most recently discovered an interest in art from the Mosey people from Burkina Faso. I have several Yatanga masks and a few Graybo masks, which are very intriguing to me. I'll show you some pictures of those. And since we're speaking of uh, items from Burkina Faso, I'll show you my Spitfire mask and my chameleon mask. Finally, I'll show you a picture of the fang mask that I have. I have a fang mask, and that is from Gabon. Now, why did I take the time to share with you my collection? Firstly, to convey that I've been collecting for many years, and I love my collection. It's brought a lot of joy to me. The other thing that I wanted to convey was, I don't know, it's been, a, it's been frustrating with me over the years as to why many black people don't share my passion. I've, I've, I've found that many black people, they're almost repulsed by African art. They're afraid of it, their own history. I, I, I just don't understand that. You know, black people of African descent why you don't collect artifacts from your own people. It, it's just something that has uh, perplexed me over the years. But, you know, I'll, I'll start with something that has happened to me, a very true story. Many years ago, I went to Allen, Michigan, which is the self-labeled antique capital of Michigan. So while in Allen, Michigan, I came across a particular storefront. It was intriguing. So I walked in and to my amazement, this store in the middle of nowhere has various rooms and each room had different ethnic uh, art from various nationalities. I mean, uh, it, it was just amazing. Words can can't describe it. So as I go through the various rooms, I happened upon an African room, basically. All African artifacts. And I, 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 I just couldn't take my eyes off this because I've never seen so much in such a, uh, 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 the same type of building, the same store. So the store owner walked over to me, an older white lady, she was very nice, very friendly, uh, but she, for lack of a better word, shoots from the hip, if you know what I mean. So we started talking and I told her how I appreciated her store. And then I said, you know, I'm a collector of African art myself. And she looked at me and she says, uh, no, you're not. And I looked at her and I was like, Yes, I, I'm a collector of African art. I've been collecting for many years. She stood back and looked at me again. She says, no, you don't. She said uh, something that still upsets me to this day. Uh, and it was literally, I don't know, 20 years ago. But she says, black people don't collect African art. And what she said, it, it really should have offended me. But sad to say it didn't, because what she said was true. As I mentioned earlier, I don't know a lot of black people who collect African art. Uh, many, many find it spooky, 
you know, uh, even ugly, their own history. As the store owner and I continued talking, I pulled out my phone because she didn't believe me. She did not believe that I collected African art. So I pulled out my phone and I started scrolling through my uh, photographs and I showed her, here, I, I, here's my art. I, I do in fact collect African art, real African art, not something that's produced uh, in some box store, you know, not something that's mass produced in Ghana, real African art. So finally I started winning her over. She said to me, uh, I could tell that she was starting to trust me. You know, so she said, um, I want to show you something. I said, okay. And as we walked through her store that was as magnificent as it was empty of customers, she took me upstairs. She went to this back room. There was a door, big door. She took a key out, opened the door. Behind this locked door was literally an African museum, a mini African museum. I was astounded. I'm talking African art behind glass, behind glass. And this was a secret. And this woman was sharing this with me. Uh, I, I, uh, it was just so much that happened in that day of being offended and being amazed at the same time. So what happened over the years as we continued being friends uh, our, our, you know, our relationship grew, became friends. And I was even, she even, she even sold me a few of those pieces that were behind the glass in her mini museum. Uh, I, I cherish those pieces to this day. Uh, and I still have them. So I'm going to show a picture of my friend in Allen, Michigan. I won't show her uh, face. I'll black it out. I don't want to offend her. You know, she may not be, uh, you know, thrilled by this topic, but I do want to share that with you. You know, another thing I want to share with you, I, I love Facebook. I mean, I love Facebook. And on Facebook, there's a group and they are these so-called scholars of African art. And they judge, you know, people put their collection on there and they judge if this is a good artifact or if it's fake. You know, it, it, it pisses me off because all of these scholars of African art, they're all white. They're all white. And I, I, I don't know, you know, I guess I really can't complain because I have learned something uh, from these so-called scholars. Even, I even have a friend now that I met on one of those sites and we message each other every day. He is from, you know, he's in Dakar, Senegal. And a lot of times at work, I, like I said, I message him all the time, like almost every day. And I'll be at work or someplace and somebody say, hey, what are you doing? And I'll say, oh, I'm messaging my friend in Africa. And they're always baffled when I show them a picture of him. He's an Italian guy. So, uh, I mean, he's just a wealth of knowledge as well. So I can't, I can't be stumbled by these uh, white people that have so much knowledge of African art. I am... Um, like I said, you know, I, I have learned a lot. And when you buy these African pieces, be you black or white, you're feeding a black family. And you're, you're helping Africa continue to thrive. So I, I, I'm, I'm happy with all that. You know, I, I've learned to digest those things. Now, speaking of my friend in Dakar, Senegal, I've ended up, I, I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I've learned more from him in a year's time than I have in 20 years, over 20 years of collecting. 
So uh, I'm honored for our association and we've even become like business partners. So I'm gonna share a couple photos of him with you now. So in conclusion, I really wish that more black people collected African art. Collect something that appreciates in value, not just in the monetary sense, but also in the historical and the cultural sense. So I, I personally want to thank you for, for, for taking the time to view this video. All of you take care and be safe.